Salut! In this video, you're going to learn different types of transportation in French. Bonjour! My name is Rochelle DeMeo, your native French instructor from Belter Academy. So, moyen de transport, moyen de transport is how you say methods or types of transportation. We don't say transportation. We don't say that. I hear that mistake a lot. No, it makes me like clinch. C'est moyen de transport. Transport. Donc, les moyens de transport que nous avons, routier, maritime, fluvio, ferroviaire, et aérien. So those are the types of transportation that we have. Let's dive in in these different categories. Donc, routier is any thing, any method of transportation pertaining by road. Donc, la voiture, an, an expression we often use is en voiture. En voiture is like, let's get in the car, you know, like, let's get in. En voiture, ou la voiture, la moto, le vélo, le bus. La mobilette, le scooter. So in terms of culture, I talk a lot, and I always have to integrate culture into any grammar or vocabulary lesson. Just know that in France, you get your driver's license usually at 18. Before that, at like 14, you can get a moped license, so to speak. You can drive a moped, and then at 16, you can have a scooter or conduite accompagnée, which is like your license, driving with someone, your permit, driving with someone. Ferroviaire is simply by railway. Donc, le tram, ou le tramway, le tram, le tramway, le métro. Don't forget to check out my YouTube videos on taking the metro and information about simply taking the metro in Paris or other big cities in France like Marseille. Le train. Le train. And we actually say en voiture. En voiture pour le train, oui. So we even say en voiture for a train, even if it's on a train and not in a car. Maritime, so maritime is by water, usually like the ocean or like a big lake. Donc le bateau, le bateau. Le navire, le navire. Et le jet ski, le jet ski. Est-ce que vous faites du jet ski? Est-ce que vous aimez le jet ski? C'est une petite question que j'ai pour vous. Fluvio. Fluvio is like by river or by waterway, so like a smaller body of water. Fluvio, donc par exemple la péniche, la péniche, la barque, la barque, le ferry, le ferry. Par exemple, nous avons pris le ferry de Sardaigne en Corse. Aérien, aérien, by air. Bravo! Donc, on a l'avion, l'avion, l'hélicoptère, l'hélicoptère ou l'hélico, l'hélico, plus facile, hein. la montgolfière, la montgolfière. I have this cute video of the kids, I just have to say this, where they were younger and we were learning syllables and while they were having breakfast, I would often say, count how many syllables. Remember that I'm teaching them French since they've been born, kind of the reverse of the way I grew up. And so they're so cute. Let me just show this really quick. Are they adorable or what? This is a few years back. Let me provide you with a bonus point if you're looking to find the right transportation in France. Before I do so, could you please subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified of next week's epic video? Merci! So here's your bonus tip. 
If you are looking for different methods of transportation in France, you're planning a trip there, or even virtually planning a trip there, like I do a lot with my students at Belter Academy, what you can do is put the website in French that may open up different options and sometimes the prices are a little different. You did not hear that from me. Um, but even better, that helps you learn the vocabulary. So it's really training your brain, even if you're doing something that's productive, like looking for a bus or whatever, plane. And another double bonus point, if you're really trying to learn and master the French language is to put your computer settings in French, which usually automatically is going to help put most of the websites in French or ask you to translate or whatever. But if by doing so, you're gonna get different experience and you're gonna be more submerged with French, so learning it, retaining it better. If you enjoyed this video, can you give it a thumbs up and support my channel? Merci beaucoup les amis, à bientôt.